If you guys like Marvel phone accessories like cases or cores, go to the first link in the description. It will take you to a website that is offering discounts on all their products or most of their products, if not all. Go check it out. It's awesome. Let's go into the video. What is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I have some really, really great news. So apparently Tom Holland's Spider-Man is going to be back in the MCU. Sony and Marvel have finally worked out some deal that will allow this character to be in the MCU. So in this video, I just kind of want to talk about what this deal will entail and what this deal is about. So let's just get right into it. So as I said, you know, Spider-Man is back in the MCU, Sony and Marvel made a deal, and this is pretty much the deal. Sony has said that Marvel can use that character for one solo film, so of course I'll be the next solo Spider-Man film, and then they can use the character for one film that involves a character. So it won't be a solo film, but this character will definitely be involved in one of the other films, so probably the next Avengers film, whenever that comes out. And also part of the deal is that Sony will actually be able to use that character in their Sony Marvel universe. So that's where it's a little confusing right now because if Marvel is making their own universe with the character and then Sony is using the same character with their own little Marvel universe, that just could get very confusing, especially for the fans who don't exactly know what's going on. But still, I mean, as this develops, you know, as this moves forward, you know, uh, maybe Sony will allow Marvel to have more control over this character. Um, so pretty much, here's a quote from Kevin Foggy, pretty much talking about Spider-Man rejoining the MCU. And he says, I am thrilled that Spotty's journey in the MCU will continue. And I and all of us at Marvel Studios are very excited that we get to keep working on it. Spider-Man is a powerful icon and hero whose story crosses all ages and audiences around the globe. He also happens to be the only hero with the superpower to cross cinematic universe. So as Sony continues to develop their own Spideyverse, you never know what surprises the future might hold. So of course with him saying that, that could definitely mean that we could be getting a Venom movie in the MCU at some point or I don't know what's going to happen guys honestly. I have no idea what's going to happen. Like I said, this is still very brand new so we'll just have to see what sony and marvel are going to do with this character so guys i'm super pumped for this and i'm so glad they finally have him back in the mcu um the next spider-man movie will be released on july 16th 2021 so that will be spider-man 3 so we still have a ways um, for that to go but there you guys go that's pretty much it so like i said tom holland will return as peter parker slash spider-man in a sequel to far from home and tom holland's spider-man will appear in at least one more non-spidey mcu movie uh, probably involving the avengers of, or something like that so uh, there you guys go i'm so glad that this is finally happening let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys are excited for this don't forget to like subscribe and you guys have an amazing day